and welcome to another live event of the Iron Whiskey Festival Molten Music 2021. I'm getting better and better at saying that. I don't know if you if you can tell. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining us and for tuning in. Um, Mariella, Global Band Ambassador and Brand Manager uh, of Isle of Iron Distillers. And, but today we're actually going to talk and interview these lovely people. Would you like to introduce yourselves, actually? So it's, a, it's a much easier for me as well. Okay, I'm Campbell. This is my 15th year. Oh, wow. Love tour guide. 15th anniversary of Campbell in the, yeah. <laughs> in the company tasting. 15th year. Nice. Uh, this is only about my third actual doing the tasting business. Oh. You know, we've developed that more in the last 18 months with the COVID thing. We've developed the tastings more. This is the first, well, I've done a couple of in uh, Trim. The off sales in Trim we do every year. Mm. But very interesting. I'll explain my whiskey's when I get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Moving on. Um, Pam, um, I think this, this is my fifth year now. Be. Yeah. Nice. I'm this, so, um, brought up on the island um, as well. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting stuck into some of this because it's lovely. It's <laughs> yeah. a cranking selection, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and my name's Scott. Um, I'm the junior tour guide. Still quite way <laughs> behind the years. Um, I'm still under instruction. But yeah, I've only been with the company for like a couple of months. Um, but I've known the family of the distillery for a long time. It is, and it's good to be able to sort of like we'll be working with these guys and sort of like seeing and meeting all the white stags, especially the ones today when it was meant to be the festival. Um, Andrew Smith, Derek Whiteford all people like that, Caroline as well. So yeah, it's just such a pleasure to be like here, back on the island and putting some roots back down. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so here we are, this is a tour guide uh, um, masterclass. So I imagine some of you have been lucky enough to grab one of these before it's sold out, or if you don't have a tasting set, feel free to uh, grab whatever whiskey you have at home and just join us uh, and have a dram with us anyway. But for those of you that are lucky enough to have one of these, you must have noticed that all these samples um, have nothing written on them, uh, apart from numbers. So they're all single casks. They're all cask samples, actually. So we're essentially doing a, a warehouse tasting, uh, but virtual silver lining of uh, the pandemic <laughs> and um, yeah no ABV no information whatsoever so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try them blind and um, we're gonna share our tasting notes uh, tell you a little bit of you know like uh, insightful information about them and then please do you know interact with us engage guess what you think you know these casks might be there's a, a true mix you know Lucy and I have done a whiskey before a whiskey tasting before we done a whiskey we done a whiskey tasting before and <laughs> um, there was also blind and uh, lots of very nice you know rare good drums but uh, i remember when i was putting this together i was very jealous <laughs> some some casks are like but truly, now, truly. Answer, but now there you go. <coughs> they invited me as well so that's great um but yeah so no information whatsoever i think we'll try them one by one in order um share some tasting notes and then Feel free to guess what you think it's inside, you know, the the, the the sample, if you think, you know, of an age, of an ABV, of a cask type, you know, feel free to talk to us. We are checking comments and questions, so please talk to us. Or if you have any questions, you know, to these guys as well as tour guides, you know, feel free to ask away as well. Uh, we already have a few. Hi, we have Miguel, imagine from Argentina, uh, saying hi. So hi, Miguel, Dwayne. Miller, which joined us before as well for the other tasting. Thank you for joining us in. And Bill Free, hello everyone. Tell us where you're tuning in from and what you're drinking as well. That's okay. enough. Enough for me. Shall That's we? Okay. Shall we taste? Okay. <laughs> number one. Whiskey number one. I've got the privilege of doing number one. Normally, when I'm doing this, somebody will probably know a bit chocolate. Like little <laughs> canopies of yeah, food yeah. along oh, with yeah, it. I do it every year with John. But no chocolate this year. Debbie's refused to give me any. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely sweet nose to it. 
Yeah, typical Aaron noise. Very soft and fruity, isn't mm -hmm. it? Super gentle. Soft, fruity, wee bit of creaminess about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Typical Aaron, I'd say, known for its fruitiness. And this is really a, a lovely whiskey. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious, yes. I actually think we're starting super strong yeah. again. Yeah. Hint, hint. This is, this is a but, good uh, place to start. Uh, with, isn't it? Yeah. Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> starting with this. We actually have. Is it um, bourbon? Is it sherry? Is it none of the two? Sorry? Is it none of the two? None of the two. Is it oak? Is it wood? What is it going to be? It's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few more highs, by the way. Sorry, just very quickly, a lot of people are saying hi. Kevin from Edding, David Fowler. Hi, David. Mavis, um, uh, I imagine from Isla. So, yeah. hi, Mavis. Oh, yeah. Jackie is also uh, joining Alfredo. And uh, Jack is saying uh, to you, is saying it's lovely to see you in an iron shirt. <laughs> yeah. I love you much, Jack. Jack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, Campbell, you were saying. No, it's quite all right. No, I'm just sitting here. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> very, very nice. What age would you put on it, guys? What do you think? Tell us, tell us. Also, Burger and Johan are joining us. I think we talked about this in the previous tasting as well. Iron yeah. really changes after a certain age again in mm -hmm. tint but uh, the softness and the mellowness and this is quite yeah, uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Now, if you want to put water in it of course now, normally i don't put water in my whiskey i don't care what strength it is <laughs> it just i've tried it and it just does not appeal to me mm, yeah and I, I just prefer my whiskey straight yeah I really enjoy it. I always it, feel yeah. if I'm getting the satisfaction out of it straight, I put water in it. Yeah. It's all about what you get out of your whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could sit here and say, well, this has got apples, oranges, plums, burnt bananas, or whatever else they come up with. And you all look at me and say, what is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't get that. Because we're all different. We've all got different palates. We've so all got true. different tastes. And the thing I learned, we learn a lot from our visitors here. Absolutely. And I just learned something two weeks ago from a gentleman from France. He's a chemist. I was talking away and I said, smell it, keep smelling it, open your taste buds up. And he said, just one wee point, he says, you're not actually opening your taste buds when you smell it. You're opening your perceptory glands. And your perceptory glands tell you mm -hmm. what the different flavours are. Your taste buds only tell you if it's sweet or bitter. Mm -hmm. So, and I tried it with some folk later on, and the guys, other folks said, that's absolutely right. So when you smell it, it's your perceptory glands that open up to yeah. give you all the different flavours. Your taste buds only tell you if it's sweet or bitter. David, so we're always learning. Absolutely. David Fowler is agreeing with you and he's saying, I'm the same Campbell, I can't put water in my whiskey. So again, very personal, absolutely very, very personal. Good. Yeah. We have a suggestion from Jack um, saying, is he older bourbon barrel Aaron? Dun, dun, dun. Didn't comment there. Yeah. Didn't comment yet. We can't comment yet. yet. Not yet. It's a very Not legal yet. whiskey, isn't it? It's, uh, yes. Yeah. Very, very full. Mm. How old do we think it is? Yeah. Give us give us some suggestions on age as well, because as we said, this is quite a, a special one of the of the lineup. So yeah. mm. you so don't get to try this often. Lovely one to start with, isn't yeah. it? It's, yeah. it's, it's beautiful. Right. Shall we yeah. reveal a bit? Reveal a bit. Maybe maybe I'm not not the maybe the A B V. <laughs> the A B V is fifty-two. Fifty-two. Fifty-two percent ABV. H 
Any guesses? No guesses. I think people are enjoying it too much. Too, too yeah, so I'm probably sorry about <laughs> it. Paper with me, actually, no guesses? <laughs> Nothing showing in the sideline there. Yeah, no. Will I tell them what age it is? I think we should reveal. I think we should reveal that it's 24 years old. 24? And as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> 24 year old. From a, come on guys. Oh no, couldn't possibly. <laughs> <laughs> you say it. Sherry. Sherry Hogshead, 24 Hogshead. year old. Aaron. Sorry, I, I was so excited I dropped my earring. That's oh, it. Am I, no, no. I'm wearing a hot. 24 oh refill Sherry Hogshead. And for a refill Sherry Hogshead, 24 year old. Absolutely. Absolutely. Also, again, we, we said it previously uh, in the other tasting as well. Bear in mind, 1996 is where the company was literally one year old. So these are the very first casks, you know, the, mm. that we filled, you know, as a company, as a small and independent company. It's amazing that we get to share these today. Still, you know, being a small independent company, we get to put out these amazing casts lovely. in 1996. Yeah. Do you like it's Aaron at this age, like personally? Do you like Aaron with a bit more age to it? Or do you prefer a younger I, fish? I, I don't know that you need that because if you look at what we've got just now in the sherry, the bodega, what is it, eight years old? Yeah, eight around years seven, old? eight years old. And yeah. it's an absolutely beautiful whiskey. Yeah. It really is yeah. a beauty. So I think age is it not more how good the barrel is than what age it is. And how good the spirit is. Growing from the wood. We don't really have very much that spoiled with the amount of expressions they are there because there's some like mm -hmm. classics, even the Amarone one, such a lovely dram that is as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But the older mm -hmm. ones are Really, really good. People are quite amazed at the variety we've got in this distillery. We've got such a mm. young distillery, and they come out of their tasting bar and look at the shelves and say, Goodness me, I'm oh. sure you're only 26 year old, 20. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, uh, yeah. And but they quite don't amazed, have to be really not only, not really only the variety, stuff. but the quality. Mm. And that's the thing that strikes the quality of the biscuits mm. we get from here. The distillers have done a first class job as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you know, it's uh, an old, a new old career. I've been here, Jordan, James, and now David. And uh, you can see me changes here and there. Yeah. You can. Yeah. You can see me but changes. again, like quality uh, is the main focus, like, you know, no matter what. Like, we're quite yeah. traditional in the way we do things, but we also do take our time. Because again, you know, if yeah. you have a good quality spirit and good quality cast, I mean, what could what could go wrong? <laughs> There's nothing that can go wrong. And I agree with you, Pam. I think it's um it's a good spirit that shines even in like you know seven, eight, nine, ten years, and yeah. at the yeah. same time is super yeah. elegant and versatile. Like twenty. We even caught ourselves out sort of doing our blind tasting yeah. and yeah. Oh, nice. behind yeah. the bar the other day, um, and really surprised at what we were tasting and mm. things that. You know, we haven't tasted quite a long time. It's nice for us to do that yeah. as well. So yeah. we don't often do enough tasting as well. Yeah. So this must be, this is definitely older. Or, yeah. Um, but it is, and then we discovered actually it was, I think it was the Burns malt we were yeah. trying. Have you realised it's a horrible horrible job we've got here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Very hard job, very yeah. hard job. The whole work so sometimes hard. is dangerous. <laughs> I gave them this whiskey to try. Uh, I gave them a tasting set to try two weeks ago. It was so painful just to yeah. tell them, go home, yeah. try them all, you know. Oh, oh, dear, so dear. hard, so hard. <laughs> Shall we move on to whiskey number two? What do we think? Yeah, let's do it. Whiskey number two. Tell us what you thought of whiskey number one uh, as well. Uh, Dwayne was asking, is it European oak? It is. So it's like, it would be refill sherry. So yeah, European uh, European oak in, for whiskey number one. Uh, but now we move on. Tasting whiskey number two. Oh, wow, what a change. <laughs> very, very different from one. Mm -hmm. So this is the one I, I tried at home first. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. 
I'm gonna give a huge hint here. This is possibly one of my favorite uh, mm. type uh, of casks. I, I, I might also be known of anybody that's uh, been on any of my tastings that this uh, is possibly one of my favorites mm. that I've done. Uh, nice. I might have mentioned in the past. Nice. Well, I, I even, um, once mm. or twice maybe, I even can get quite a poetic maybe on this oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're giving away too many hints here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> These things happen. Lovely <laughs> fudge snow coming through. <laughs> it's very um, aromatic as well. Very, very, I have to say, I get quite a lot of like pear drop kind of coming yeah. through in that pear drops. Mm -hmm. mm. Quite apple um, hints of fudge. Very sweet. Completely different to the first that. one, isn't it? Oh, completely different. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What do you think at home? Are you tell us who, which one of you are actually um, mm. tasting the whiskey with us as well. Tell us what you think. Mm. Did anyone taste the first one? No, no, no. Jack was the only one that tried. Was and, uh, well thought, done, right. But he did yeah. say old bourbon barrel, so he went down the right route. I think it's hard sometimes at this age to to distinguish refill bourbon, refill sherry. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. Uh, it's it's very it's a very subtle. Uh, difference and again single cask you know so it's not yeah. like a product that you try every day it's like one specific cask sample so Very it's a uh, niche yeah <laughs> i think this is a, a lot more on the citrus side than the first one for sure mm -hmm. um, someone is guessing Dwayne oh, is guessing oh, he's saying okay. bourbon oh. beautiful nose really yeah. fruity yeah, yeah. we agree and that, all that just that honeydew that comes through, mm -hmm. I think, in this as well, um, which is I'm very partial to, I have to say. Um, but oh, yeah. and the palate is fantastic as well. Citruses are great for mm -hmm. that taste yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but again, typically, I'm yeah, yeah, we get like any aftertaste, like any yeah. aftertaste, which is a big drink, Roman Mary Arden whiskies. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she likes licorice, it's all right. Yeah. That's funny because we are. She likes like whiskey, it's even better. <laughs> <laughs> but sort of a fresher on the palate than the previous one. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have our own warehouse manager guessing. <laughs> and I'm wondering if he actually. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. But it's oh, funny yeah. though. It's funny though because he's guessing. PX, Pedro Jimenez. Oh, come on, so, Ryan. It is Ryan. It is Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. The, your whole career is depending on these comments. Just to oh, let you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't worry, we all don't cast it up to you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll never bring up again. Oh, yeah. You're between yeah. friends here, so yeah. You should have been here. Where are you? Come come and join us. You still have time. We'll be around for another 40 minutes. So Jack is actually yeah. Jack is trying again and he's saying, I'm getting notes from the bonded warehouse. Take me back to the malt and music festivals. Lovely memories. I'm going to I'm going to go with bourbon again, second time lucky. You're not completely wrong. No, these people that are saying bourbon are definitely not uh, completely wrong. I think I'm gonna give another little hint okay um yeah you might have tried it uh as it's something that we bottle uh regularly let's put it like that but so, in quite small batches but wine it's small batches <laughs> small batches yeah. i see what you're doing here yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you do <laughs> very small yeah. very small batches <laughs> I think that's fair to say. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. I think it, it does have a bit of a... Yeah, I think I get where you come from with the licorice. It does have a bit of a of a kick, but I think it's because the cask is so alive. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also just beautifully, like, creamy, mm -hmm. a bit waxy on the palate, yeah. it's super rich, yeah. super fruity, which I like. It's one of those casks, I think, that uh, one of those drums that you go back to and they evolve, you know, over time or with a bit of water. And with a wee bit of water in that, I get a lot more pepperiness coming mm. through as well a lot spicier yeah as soon as i've added those couple of drops of water into there and then i taste it again and that's definitely when i get that so i think i was yeah it's amazing on the different pepper. parts of the tongue as yeah. well so it's, it's, i'm yeah, getting a lot on the sort of the middle part of the tongue so mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. well you'll be happy to know we have a winner 
Halfway. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it is actually Jack. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. So like, ah, quarter yeah, cast. Yeah. That's literally what it wrote. Jack Scooter. So yes, do you want to tell us what um, what cask is it? How old it is and what's going on? Uh, I can tell you it's the quarter cask. Yeah. And as for age, it is. <laughs> if I can read that, ten years. Yeah, ten year old, um, ten year old bourbon cask that spent the last three years in quarter casks, which are made, um, which are bespoke, uh, specifically made for us by the space at Cooper Edge up in Dafton. So it's literally like a, a yeah, but like 125 liters. So obviously, smaller cask means. Uh, faster and more intense maturation, so you lose more alcohol and water, but you get like so much more uh, flavor out of those. And uh, yeah, three so years very is much uh, like herbal yeah, yeah. the same idea, exactly. Which is why I like that. Yeah, very yeah. very yeah. 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 Also, three years is not a shy finish, is it? Like no, it's, it's three years, it's, yeah. it's, it's, no, it's, it's, an, an, it's quite a nice, you know, long time for mm -hmm. that cast to be maturing in uh, in that. Uh, yeah, fifty four point three percent. So great ABV for a for a ten year old whiskey. I think you know if you want to add a bit of water, feel free to. Otherwise, need to. Yeah, it does sound yeah. for me again again. Yeah, super delicious. Yeah, it's funny with the various ones that they're both there. There's some of them have like without water. Some mm. of them are like with water, and that's like yeah. the same recipe essentially, but just with the, the different casts that have been used. It's so. Yeah. It was nice for you to have this one as well, yeah. wasn't it? So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, do you think we don't have to fight her off for this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen you too, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So Jack is also sharing a lovely memory. I didn't know this happened. This is actually insane. I remember the couple sitting on our table at Weissack dinner a few years back. They won the auction for the quarter cast, the whole cask that night. Wow. What an amazing auction went for them. And he thinks they just got married. So hopefully they, they did oh, bottle that too and, and drank that, I hope. Oh but yeah, I would like to win a cask like that. <laughs> when are we doing an auction, a cask auction again? <laughs> So yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations. yeah, congratulations to them as well, especially if they got married. So yeah. Mm. Right, shall we move on to whiskey number three? Yeah, yeah. We do. yeah. At the moment, um I've got some uh eau de Loch Nadabi. So uh, <laughs> yeah. straight from the mountain mm. through the tap. <laughs> yeah. How good it is to get pure water straight from the tap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so. nice uh, that, that, this is a this is a stota of a dram. This one, it's such it's such an amazing, amazing aroma. The color, the golden sort of like straw color to it as well. But it, to me, it's sort of like very rich. There's there's toffee in there. There's like pears in there. On the oh, nose. there's a toffee straight. Yeah, in there. yeah. I mean, it's a real shame that you guys can't be here. Um, sort of like missing it's like a great time for the family to come together, the white stags. Um, but at, at least we can share a dram with you as well. This we have sort of like bottled this expression before, mm -hmm. um, and it's a real sort of nice dram, one of my favorites. Very, very popular before it was, it yeah, good. yeah, indeed. So, yeah, getting brown sugar on the nose, mm -hmm. I did the toffee, yeah. Uh, behind us, um, guys, you're not be able to see them, but there's lots of like young ladies. Um, and, uh, they, I'm looking at the legs on the glass here, so. Oh, right. yeah. Those ladies. Yeah, but no, this this to me this is lovely. I was really sort of lucky enough to sort of try this one the first time round. We've only tried two of the whiskies each here. We haven't tried the other four whiskies, which. The other guys are sort of like picking. So, new so this is new it. to sort of like Pam and Campbell. Um, but what do you get? What do you what do you think? What is what's coming through, guys? Age statement wise, give us a quick indication mm. of what you think. Jack is asking, is this a Calvados cask? No. no. <laughs> you got your no. answer, Jack. No. 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 Yeah. 
But as, as, as Campbell says, this was like a really popular Whoa. cast. It was. It was, yeah. And you could Goodness understand me. why. Yeah. It's, That's it's, quite intense, isn't it? This is just like great. For me, this is like embodies everything that Aaron does like really well. So the root maturation, the new mixed spirit into it, um, and everything that Aaron stands for, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, the syrupy, the, the pears, yep. the sweet oak as well. It's... Oh, I can't wait to this is bottle type thing it is. So, yeah. Have us, uh, yeah, well, have a guess, guys. See what you think. Yeah, yeah. Jack, unfortunately, it's not Calvados. Dwayne, yeah. Dwayne is also, I think it's, it's sort of like in the right direction. He's asking wine cask, Marsala. In the right direction. In the, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, in the right direction. Well. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that's somewhere we could possibly go. Okay. Yeah, we could do it. Yeah, we could do it. No. I think it's shocking how tasty and rich and like it's beautiful really it is on the palate intense. based yeah. on the age. I mean, yeah, <laughs> for, for me, guess. with this age that it is, it's clued already like a stunning drama. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. So please do try and guess the age because this is insanely yeah. beautiful yeah. For, for the yeah. yeah, for the age that it is. Yeah. I couldn't believe it like when I saw actually what it was that it is what it is, and it is such. Lovely... I am like protesting blind here as well. I didn't even read. You know, I think if you were to give, to yeah. surprise, if you were to I give thought... this to someone blindly and say, "What do you think this is?" I would have never no, guessed. I would, I would never Absolutely. guess this as well. So it's really hard for you guys out there to sort of like try and get uh, what it's going to be. So yeah, half the fun is that we know what it is, but you don't. So. Yeah, good luck. But yeah, give us some clues. Give us a, give us some indication, yeah. guys. What you think? Dwayne is asking again. So turn again, totally right direction, but yeah, yeah not 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 quite. <laughs> yeah. Um, Miguel from Argentina is thinking that? port. I'm getting that. Uh, okay. Spiciness in the background. Well, we we can say good area no yeah, yeah, port. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're actually yeah, you're, yeah, definitely. you're not um, far geography yeah geography. i mean if i was to say sort of like cristiano ronaldo Ooh. then sort of like maybe that might give an indication i actually have a, a better a hint the one that i told pam before it's a place that you can Enjoy if you budget. live it you can go and visit <laughs> if you live in the uk and you looked at the updated green list on the government <laughs> website is uh is maybe we can even say it's an island that you can yeah, actually go and yeah, visit yes, yeah, yeah. uh we got a winner we got a winner oh, yeah. but, but we also had a lot of other suggestions we had champagne from leave uh, yeah, we have uh, <laughs> Moscatel from Jack and Billy. Oh, Billy! Hi, Billy! Our Billy! Oh, Billy. Sorry, yeah, I just uh, I recognize you now. Sorry, hi. Um, and then we got a lot of people guessing it right as soon as I said the green list. Thing. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, both Sonny and Jack got it right. Okay, uh, it yeah, is yeah. Madeira. Madeira yeah. 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 So. Uh, what what age do you think, guys? Then. Give us uh, a few sort of like age statements. <laughs> I think that maybe that is maybe the hardest part to, yeah. to guess. Well, you know what? Let's give strength. them a hint. Yeah, let's give them a hint about it as well and like give them strength. Okay, strength. Wise, then. Take, yes. Yes. It's strength. It's strength. Uh, it's like a powerful but a majestic class. Absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Um, 59.9 wow. percent it's, it's, it's not a lot say, for the no, 59, no. Yeah, but that that for what you're coming through taste wise and everything you would have never no never dangerously wise, drinkable yeah, yeah. and <laughs> right. age statement wise what we go mariella and yeah jack said let's go five Ooh, uh, nearly, nearly, yeah. Dwayne so, said nine oh, which shows say, exactly yeah. what we're what we're yeah, talking about yeah, because yeah. So it's only a four-year-old, this one, no. and I would never have guessed no, this. No, I didn't. Um, I second film, Madeira cast, four-year-old. Four years old. Stunning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Insanely yeah, good. Yeah, four years old. Wow. No, I wouldn't have thought that was as young as that at all. What a surprise, yeah. No. I was very lucky last year when I was doing some filming uh, through the pandemic. Um, Ryan 
I asked Ryan Wilson, our warehouse manager, to to go in warehouse and and open some tasks and tell us about some of his favorite tasks. Yeah. And this was one of the tasks oh, that he opened. Oh. And I tried it and he told me, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this is like... Yeah. And because imagine in like, even like in two, three years time, oh, how much no. is going to evolve and yeah, improve yeah. and yeah, get no, even like, you know... Nice to come back and visit again. Let's do it again. Yeah. In, yeah. <laughs> in two, three yeah. years time. I just wish that we had been able to have more people in our tastings as well because it just last week it turned out there was some guys that had come back that I had tasted with them a cask that they had bought and it was only two years old when I tasted it um, and if you're if you're watching the <laughs> <laughs> the heel and crew guys yeah. <laughs> um, uh, um, I would really like to taste it once you do finally bottle it because it was only two years old when oh, I tasted wow. it and yeah. you should have seen the colour of yeah. it it was like our, our sherry cask Nice. Um, as now, and it was absolutely incredible. Yeah. You would never have guessed that that had been a, a two year old. I remember, I remember him coming in, and you immediately knew yeah. sort of like what they were talking yeah. about through the wear. Yeah, so, it, was yeah. nice. it was good to see yeah, him yeah, back. It's, so it's nice, nice to see all these people coming and back. And a guy in my case last week has been here three times, and unfortunately, he's got me every time. He was asking if I was really too gay, but what? Oh, <laughs> but I quickly informed him next time he comes, we'll try and uh, get him. <laughs> a bit variety. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are saying um, uh, it's, it's it's just good, like as it is, Jack is actually saying it, that could be bottled next month and no one would ever Yeah, it really, yeah. Yeah, really, really. Also, yeah. again, like a little uh, pat on the shoulder here, but it also shows that sometimes a non statement whiskey, like, you know, the one finish yeah. that we do, doesn't really matter. You know, yeah. if you enjoy the liquid and you are, you know, fascinated yeah, like, by what you taste without thinking of, yeah. of the age, it just means that, you know, that's yeah. good whiskey to drink. Yeah. So, I, I read yeah. an article two or three years back in Glasgow Herald, it was a Herald, whatever you want to call it now. <laughs> uh, a whiskey expert and he reckoned all this age stuff was a bit of a gimmick he reckoned if a whiskey had been in a barrel for 18 years how much more is it going to take out the wood after 18 years so you get to the 25s the 30s etc etc and of course you've got the ones at 50 year old and very expensive that's probably because there's not a lot of it Mm. Yeah. The angels have had their fair share. Definitely why. Yeah. This was this guy's take on it. And when you think about it, you say, well, have you got something there? Mm. You know, you leave spirit in a barrel for 18 years. Yeah. You know, it'd be a oh, really, really good barrel to get the yeah. full body out of it after that. I've just had a flyby of a couple of midges, guys. So, yeah, they are still here. Um, I know you're enjoying a whiskey and everything, but you're probably enjoying more not being here with the veggies. So, no, I. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yes. Excellent <laughs> winter weather. It's been. Yeah. Next year. Next year. Next They'll year. still be there waiting. So. Yeah. I'm just finding it quite a relief, actually, this year that I'm not going to be dancing the eights and roll with Dave Ferguson afterwards. Oh, right. Yeah, because that, that I didn't know this was a, a nightmare of yours. I didn't know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. And I'm just thinking after these first days, and so David, if you're watching as well, I'm still getting over the trauma. <laughs> <laughs> and whiskey's <laughs> helping her. Whiskey's clearly helping you get over that yeah, trauma yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm just bringing back memories of past festivals. I think that's what's happening here. Yeah. I think a, a two yeah. years break was good for everyone then. Yeah. Well. Yeah, <laughs> to recharge our batteries. And... <laughs> right. Um, oh, Liane is saying there are slight issues with sound. Oh. Uh, some people are already clear, but sometimes I can't hear everything being said. Sorry about that, Liane. We'll make sure that we shout uh, from now on. I think especially okay. especially you guys over there. Are we, are we uh, yeah, over? make sure that you're, uh, you're loud and... Uh, you're loud. Just make sure you're, you're loud. loud. Yeah. You're loud. Yeah. yeah, too loud. Too loud. Yeah. Yeah. After a few whiskeys, I'm usually getting told to quiet down, but I will have to speak up a bit. What did you say? <laughs> uh, sorry about that, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you can hear us okay now. Um, whiskey number four. Four. Oh my God. I think I'm back onto that one. Is it you? Is it? 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. I yeah, think yeah. It is. Look how organized these organized. guys look. Yeah. look. Yeah. Sharing drums, so lovely, yes. nicely done. And I have to say, I did, I did well on Joe's. Yeah. Right, Campbell, have let's see what we get here. Good. Whiskey? Yes! Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sure yeah. it's a whiskey, yeah. 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 Have you known that that joke that. at least once in your life? I'm like, I only hear like once a week, so yeah. I'm getting contraband chocolate. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> what I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. initially, I would say as well, yeah. I'm and I think I'm, hints I'm of say, past, hints of uh, I'm going to say something here. That okay. You'll just be offended. You know what I get out of this? Oh. Turpentine. 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 Now, that was quoted to me by a well known whiskey guru, Charles McLean. I had him in here a few years ago, and Charles asked for a single cast bourbon to taste in the studio. Turpentine. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Now, if you look at palms, if you could, if any of you are coming to the distillery, you'll see we've got a new setup in the tasting, and palms done a lot of hard work <laughs> with all the different notes you can get from whiskey. And there's hundreds of them, mm. and they're all very common. Mm. There's mm. even exhaust fumes in it. Mm. So, very much what you get yeah. from it, and I can just I can understand. But I just want to echo what you said, Campbell. So, sort of like Tom has done an incredible <laughs> amount of work. That's um, enough for that. To get the distillery okay, to where it is inside. So, so I'm yeah. getting. Oh, <laughs> <I'm> lady. <laughs> yeah. You deserve it. You deserve yeah. it. That's nice. Well, so, we found the problem, by the way. Sue has just told me it's the problem is that I am too loud and you are too quiet. Too so, it's hard. actually me. So, I need to bring it down. That's okay. that's. The Italian in me yeah, takes Mariella, over. keep it down in the corner sorry. there, for goodness sake. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, that is very, very interesting. Isn't it? Um, do you know what? I'm really pleased to be able to sort of like taste this cask. I've not tasted a lot from this cask type. Um, no, neither have I. I just, so, yes. Yeah, it's, it's really... We have had hints of this cask in previous yeah. Yeah, festival but not a... mm -hmm. things going yeah. on in, in, in there. Um, I have a very good hint with, for this one. Okay. If you've been following us and watched all of our social media posts and read all of our articles, you would know that a few months ago we received a both Flag and Locranza 20 of these casks. Okay. I won't say yeah, okay, anything that's, else. That's for that, yeah. But uh, okay. if you've been following us and you know what we did, we've done a parallel cask project with both distilleries. So if you read that, you will know. I don't know if you know, guys, actually. No. Oh, you don't know. OK, I OK. Don't so... you do, but I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I can guess because yeah. of what you've said there, um, because of what I'm... And this does actually, I have to say, when I tasted it, it it's quite a personal thing to me, this one of, of what I'm smelling yeah. and tasting, because my mum used to have a, a shop in the lash mm -hmm. um, and we used to fill a lot of dried fruits and things mm -hmm. um, and that was like my Saturday job to, to do that. I get paid a penny a bag for filling bags and one of the things that I used to have to fill was dried apple rings. Oh was it? Yes. So you can remember that taste? And that's, so that's, that's where yeah. this takes me. Yeah. Um, you see that's, oh. that, that's good because that's what James says in the old video. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot it smells of that from, from your mother's yeah. kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> from your, my mum's yeah, work. Yeah, um, you know exactly. That's what I do. It takes like, me yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll close my eyes and it takes me yeah. back to a point in time where it's like my grandmother's kitchen. Correct. Uh, with the open fire, her burning the peat on it and such a fantastic cook and let the uh, sort of like the clouty dumpling and the sort of oh, like lemon can you explain pie. that to people yeah. Scott what clouty, clouty dumpling, dumpling. <laughs> I used to like the skin of the clouty dumpling oh lovely so, boy yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do yeah. <laughs> not your old yeah. sheep. Oh, yeah. oh. okay, I understand that you have such a privileged childhood. I do have obviously. a question because I don't know what those are, so please do it. Oh, you haven't left, Maria. Yes. Yeah. Oh, need to sort you out. Oh, my God. Taste the clouty dumpling. James, James, the chocolatier in Brody, he actually does the clouty dumpling chocolate. 
Does it? Yeah. Oh, right. And you know, it is really realistic as well. So get yourselves down there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I've well, had well, quite a lot of chocolate, yeah. but I haven't had no. I had five the other day. That quite doesn't that surprise us. <laughs> well, if you didn't know, we actually do a whiskey and chocolate tasting daily, you know? We do, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're really popular. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. excellent chocolates for James and Brodick, I must say. Yes. Everyone comments on how good they are. It was, so, it was very well difficult done, for James. us, obviously, testing the chocolates and testing Again, so hard. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. these jobs have to week. be done. Yeah. Uh, Someone needs to do it, I mean, <laughs> eventually. But, do you remember when we were doing it initially? We had a chilli chocolate. We did. We took it with us return. And we all stood and looked at each other. We thought we'd eaten the hot curry. <laughs> <laughs> Her eyes started watering. Her oh, face no. went red. What's <laughs> happened? And I was doing a tour one day and I had a chat with a tour at a tasting. And he said, I was explaining this to him, this reaction we'd all had. And he said, I'm from Mexico. We do not eat chili with alcohol. Oh. Because that's what it does to you. Yeah. So this is what he explained. And chocolate, the chocolate, chili chocolate's very minimal amount of chili in it. But every one of us, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So remember that the next time you have your chocolate party mm. with a whiskey, no chili. <laughs> no chili. Oh, we had some pr surprising ones that we all tasted with that as well, though. It was a good oh, one. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I yes. think the, the ginger and I think Ryan just redeemed himself. Yeah. 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 He, he really that. called the vintage of the cask. He? Like he literally just nailed it. He said, oh, five cask. Well done. Oh, yeah. Well done, Ryan. Yeah. Well done. But everyone else actually got it this right. That's our Ryan, though. Yeah, yeah, that's how it went. But is. everyone else actually got it right. So a lot of people already got it. Oh, yeah, well yeah. done, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. Well done. So, yeah. It is, I think it is quite obvious. Yeah. So, yeah, it is. The hints of that and yeah. that and the harmony from um, yeah. that tree. Yeah. I've not had a lot of experience in that. You can yeah. taste yeah. that coming through, definitely. So it's a, it's actually, it's quite an old uh, cask, actually. It is, so, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you it's, want to go ahead with a cask or something? You need to say because I can't. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Let's tell people what it is. Yeah, so it's a 2005 <laughs> Calvados Punchin, 56.7%. So 15 years full maturation and a second fill Calvados. Gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Cheers to that. Yeah. So yeah, what I was referring to is that um, um, we got 40 casks of Calvados from Normandy, actually. Uh, proper apple, you know, uh, cider, yeah. like orchard, that obviously makes Calvados as well. And um, on the same week, we filled them with lag spirit and Lacranza spirit. Oh. So now they're like maturing in warehouse and then throughout the years, we'll... Oh, wow. Taste and compare, oh, wow. and they're like cool. super fresh Calvados yeah, cast. Yeah. Calvados. It's gonna be and also non peated yeah. Lacrant. So when oh, we compare the two, interest. not really on the journey, isn't it? Yeah. Well, someone needs to try the mirrorless. I don't know if you ah, want yeah. to oh, offer no. yourself, yeah, stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just manage yeah. <laughs> I need to look at my diary. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so far we tasted like a lot of different things. So I like um, it's a good sort of variety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots yeah, of like different ages. Yeah, as well. so yeah. Yeah. I have to say, I said earlier, yeah. people are amazed yeah. at the variety we've got in this distillery for a young independent. Independence is yeah. distillery is a big yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Have you people. guys got like a favourite already, or are you sort of like preferring sort of like a different <laughs> expression? So any what comments is? from the background out there? <laughs> we do have secret We're admirers. Up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have secret admirers in the background. <laughs> so, whiskey number five looks Whoa. relatively darker than, um, yeah, than the you, previous one. Do you know what? I'm absolutely amazed at the color of this one. Mm. I would never, ever have guessed what it was. Like, yes. No. Got to be very so careful to share the rest of it. <laughs> this is beautiful whiskey. As soon as I 
I actually think I, I need to stop you right here. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's me, but I got them the other way around because I can tell on the nose. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you, <laughs> I can just smell. So maybe, I don't know if it's me. I hope it's me. Well, maybe yes. Once I put it down last. Yeah, I definitely had them the wrong way around. Just to let you know. Before we put, before we taste different whiskeys, yeah, like to the people oh, that. So um, is your fifth one darker than the sixth? My one? fifth one should be the six, yeah. So the dark one that we have it should be number six. Okay. Right. Oh, yes. Okay. Before I'm sorry, I just I just smelled it. I was like, yes, this is not correct. supposed to smell that no, way. <laughs> you're very correct. So if if you're at home as it's, well, it's a very light smell off of this one. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, so very very if you are at home as well, make sure that oh, your yeah. whiskey number five is lighter in color and smell than whiskey number six. Just so that you yeah. know. Yeah. Oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, oh, we taste all of this, and people are like, I'm where are they going? That. What are they going on about? Not getting that. Maybe my nose is going or something. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's a very, very light. Who was doing this one? Me. You were on this one. Mm. Okay, so I don't, again, I don't have a clue what this is. No, I got it from the right. colour. Yeah, the colour. Tasting it, it's first taste of this zingy kind of tingling. From the tongue. Not the normal tingle from whiskey, but something else there. Oh. Fizz. Oh. oh. Oh my god, it's delicious. <laughs> so good. Very light. Very, very light. I love oh, this. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now, that's that's an unusual, very unusual, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Very pleasant. Very sought after. Yes, cast. very yeah. sought after. Hi. I think I get like a request of this cask maybe like once a month on social media. <laughs> when are you going to bottle it? When are you going to bottle it? Um, One day. <laughs> Very refreshing in the mouth. Mm -hmm. It has got a tingle. It's got a tingle. It's got a bubbly kind of feel to it. Funny Jack is asking. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're just useless, aren't we? Yeah. We can't keep our faces straight here um, at all, can we? Bubbly. Bubbly. bubbly mm. yeah. Are we talking about palms? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Personality. Personality. Yeah, personality. Yeah. Jack is saying lower BB on this one. Pretty funny because this is actually fifty eight point two percent. So, Strong, so but yeah. taste is yeah, like it's not no, absolutely it's not like no. nothing, like fifty eight point two percent. It's like the material, they're quite high strength, isn't mm -hmm. it? But it just doesn't taste. Doesn't taste like very very light and refreshing. Mm. I, like you in this one particularly, I wouldn't want to put water near that. No. I wouldn't feel the need to, even at that strength. Leave thinks but that yeah, these... Some of them oh, sorry. I would, but... Leave said that she thinks it's an old ex-bourbon, like older yeah, ex-bourbon. And I get... Yeah, I can see that as well. Yeah, I can see that. Absolutely. Yeah. I can totally get where you're coming from. Yeah. They're like light tropical yeah. like again like this beautiful rich orchard like you know fruits but like so versatile lingering and again yeah. at 58.2 percent mm -hmm. like so lush i just love that spice in this afterwards as well that you get with all the almonds it was really that would, spicy i can't believe this was your sample's choice yeah, so. what, would, would what, what, what would do you think what would do you think people at home drinking this whiskey <laughs> American, French, Spanish, Italian. <laughs> Italian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not getting amaroni on it, so yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, so chewy. That. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. As soon as I tasted it, I thought, oh, that's yeah, special. It's, it's really nice and light. I don't know why it's you good. picked that one to yeah. have, Campbell. That yeah. is a well, I went for the both of it, and now I can. Well, you knew you were that is really that special, though. Definitely. Yeah, I can see why you took sort of a blank over me. I just got yeah. almost like oh, oh, there, there. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> junior, <laughs> junior, <laughs> junior, <laughs> junior, 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 jun
I'm better. just going to sit in the naughty corner. I'm always in the naughty corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nope. So I think we can give a bit more info. So we said 58.2, but unbelievably, I mean, I think the texture gives it away, but also it's amazing at this ABV that this is actually 15 year old. Incredible. What a cast. Yeah. Yeah. A 15 uh, years old, yeah. still being 58.2, but also being so lush. Well, I, really, yeah. I really feel for the white stags out there because this is so hard. It's like, it's like really sort of like amazing whiskies, but to try and guess it, it's just... Yeah. It's hard. We yeah. know what it is, but... Yeah. This is oh. like icing well, shooters. Shall yeah. 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 we? Shall we? Yeah. So this is a funny one because obviously There's... we Aye. we yeah yeah we talked Aye. about this before. What? <laughs> we can't. You know, well, you know we, can, we can't. You know, before we get a lawsuit, and you know, like you know, like we really need to. So I think that the uh -huh. law is coming through. They are saying of yeah. the same body. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy, we can't say what it is. Billy and David got it uh, right, but you uh, got it wrong because obviously we can't name the, yeah. the no, yeah. village of I. Yeah, of e, okay. Depending okay. how you pronounce it, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, it's got to be said. It's got a lot of Scottish connections, actually. That's how you've been sarcastic. I can't tell if you're. <laughs> no, 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 it has. Uh, the wine industry in France, I was just reading about it. You read today. a lot, apparently. That's book. lovely to, to The wine discover. industry in France has got a lot of Scottish connections to it because in the 1800s, before that, Scots went over there not to take over a place, but to work with them in producing wine. Hmm. And not only France but Portugal, Coburn's Port. Interesting. It's a Scotsman. Yeah. Wait, does he hint at a French wine? Portugal. Oh, so I'm not sure. Um, he's, he's this is, this is a, there's a family in France. Yeah. Okay. The name is now uh, a French connection. It's got a D E in front of it. But their name's Lauriston. A Scots family that went there hundreds of years ago, and the woman who runs this company is still called Lauriston, but De Lauriston, oh, the, the French yeah. connection with yeah. the Scots, and uh, the Scots were very famous for claret, drinking claret, that was their favourite drink, poor Scotch whisky was the thing. So there's a lot of connections between France and Scotland in this. Nice. And it's near the village of I, and you say Okai. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, Jack nailed it to to perfection. So Jack's so good, isn't he? Well done, Jack. Honestly, it it it, it literally said it's an Argon cask from, mm -hmm. you know, but he said it's from the wine finish range or seven or eight, and. You got it sort of right because I imagine those were exactly the same casks yeah. that were filled then, but now what you're trusting, what you're tasting is an argon cask, argon, mm -hmm. you know, forest like wood. Yeah. Uh, obviously, French sparkling wine, but it's actually 15 year old and full maturation in those refill ships. That's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Oh, oh, Maria! Maria, oh, really, really, after all the destruction that we've well, had, I didn't hear that. <laughs> <Don't you laughs> <can't go laughs> sort of out, so. no, I uh, was the only oh, one that wasn't supposed to get I'll it. I'll just say it's a, a champion Ch whiskey. Champion, yeah. Champion, champion. sparkling wine. Champion, champion sparkling champion. wine. I'm not, I'm not with them. You might have this at your daughter's wedding or something like that, you know? Yeah. You may <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> whiskey number six. We and uh, <laughs> yeah. Number so six. Whiskey. Have you noticed Scott's glasses? I, I actually I would like to take the wag um, and just show like I love how you actually just went through. It's what? such a it's such a loving thing to do. I need to get into this. I need to sort of like have the full experience as well. It's been a long day. Um, I've been out there 
I've been sort of like supporting the rest of the team at the distillery. <laughs> I've been sort of like making sure everyone's happy. The first day. Yeah, I'm thirsty. <laughs> the weather here is absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's yeah, opened up. We're nice. really lucky. We've had some like great weather over here in Arran. Um, but yeah, I'm throwing myself in for this. So, I'm like, yeah. Well, I've noticed. Have you? <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. 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 No. So, yeah, sort of like number six. Um, right. This is probably the darkest of the whiskies that we've tasted so yep. far. And the reason that I've got little left is these guys have got more measures. I'm looking yeah, at your measure. Yeah. <laughs> because they knew that you were going to go through all the glasses, so they thought we'll give them a little bit less. Junior tour guide. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. 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 And what a fantastic addition to our team. I can't yeah. say. <laughs> cheers to Scott for joining oh, our team. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Join us in the cheers. Yeah, yeah. Scott has wonderful knowledge that the rest of us don't have Absolutely. about whiskey. I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no. <laughs> He's going to be promoted to senior tour guide very soon. No, 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 Mm -hmm. um, I think in a previous life I must have been a magpie because I get attracted sort of to the lovely deep mahogany, the chestnut, sort of like the colours of it as well. Shiny things. And yeah, to shiny <laughs> things. And to me, that just says, let like, buy me, drink me, let like, experience this as well. Um, and that's before you even get into the nose and sort of like have that sort of like, yeah. oh, it's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So a lovely sort of like golden honey colour it is. Beautiful. I think if you know the ninety six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, there's a little bit of a. Oh, it's just a little bit of sort of like, like a fruitiness there as yeah. well. Um, not giving away any sort of like age statement or anything. Um, but for yeah, I'm not going to say anything more yet. I just I want to get the fruitiness, and it's something that I'm not initially identifying either. Yeah. Which, considering the dried fruits, as I say, that I have smelled yeah. in the past, I'm quite surprised that I'm not able yeah. to. Completely different to the first expression that we tasted as well. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But again, the Aran range is like so phenomenal that every whiskey that we're tasting is just an absolute classic. Um, and it's so like, good to be able to sit here in front of the other white stags and just have a wonderful experience. Uh, all by it be a virtually, um, but we'll see everyone next year. But yeah, I'm no, just really impressed that after all those whiskies, he's managed to say that word for none. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing all day. Yeah. yeah. I just want to uh, just say it one more time, just in case. Um, you're trying these whiskies. I don't know if I put them in correctly or in the tasting set they came the other way around. So if you're trying this at home or if you're watching this, you know, afterwards and you're watching this live and you're just joining us, you know, on remote, uh, make sure you try. You pour five and six and make sure you try the clear, the clearer, the lighter like one first and then save the darker one for last. So apologies yeah. if uh, the mistake was made. Because they do quite smell quite yeah. different. The you can tell. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I know so, I was like, yeah. beep, yeah. beep, yeah. beep. Yeah. It's yeah. like a little issue there. But the good thing about this is that we all have different palates, we all have different yeah. tastes. So part of the whiskey journey is about the conversation, it's about the discussion. Um, and everybody out there will be the same. Um, and, and that's when we come together, that's when the community sort of like grows and that's what the White Stags is all about. So mm. it's just, it's so good to be able to sort of like be part of the R and, and sort of like represent it and be able to taste this like gorgeous, gorgeous. Are you sure he's only just joined us? He's far too good at this, well, don't you? No. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Professional. I'm not. No, no, but junior two guys. Really, there have been six, six whiskies there. And there's not one no. that anyone would say, no, I'm not kidding. Every one of them yeah, is absolutely right. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a wonderful it's credit to yeah. the, it's, it's the an actual, and the, yeah, it's an actual, the absolute privilege for 
to be sort of like here uh, to share these drums. We are all one team. It doesn't matter if we're in the cafe, if we're in the downstairs cafe, if we're the stillman, if we're the warehouseman or whatever it is. We're all part of the same team. And this is what we do. This is a reflection. Yeah, and, and all, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't yeah. get to see nearly often. No. Yeah. Don't worry, we're planning on the, coming the, and bothering the you more. Start so. <laughs> just do a job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I think I couldn't yeah. agree more, actually. Just, we are one team. And this is the beauty of it. I mean, yeah, absolutely. The managing yeah. director walks in here and we're all in first name terms. Yeah. yeah. It's... Such a good feeling Probably not in this distillery. Mm. Okay, I'm maybe the longest continuous and absolutely fantastic feeling. Yeah. You know, Friendly, that's yeah. why I'm still doing this because I enjoy it. I enjoy yeah. meeting people, but <laughs> the feel of the whole company, they will look after you. Mm. We've had a rough time through COVID, etc., but the company's looked after all of us very, absolutely. very well. They really have. Can't See anything other than that, no. and uh, hopefully next year we'll get to meet all our friends from all over the party. world. <laughs> all the postponed yeah. celebrations. Because yeah. uh, you have been missed, I can assure you. Very much so. You have been missed, and uh, hopefully things will get back to normal, or as near normal as possible, in the very near future. And you can come and be part of this. Madness. Family will go here. <laughs> <laughs> the madness. If you're if you're a good enough, madness. you can also you know do a Scott and come and work for us and be part of the team for okay. real. But you need yeah. to be as good as Scott. So once you're at that level, you can join us. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get out the door now. So, <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm just move my head. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. we'll bring you down here. But, <laughs> like, yeah. but this, but again, this is another whiskey that if you bottled it just now, right it stands up in its own accord, isn't it? So give us, give us an age guy that you think this is. Give us the ABV. Let us know what cask you're thinking. Hmm. I also like to say the cask that we use for this finish is possibly not the most um, usual mm -hmm. in terms of that type of cask. Yeah. Yes. Like if you yeah. think of core range, like we do use them, but maybe in limited editions or yeah. again, like small batches of, of distilleries exclusives or things like that. But it's, it's like hard to see. It. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to see it as a Aaron, this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but Jack, I'm relying on here. <laughs> I'm, I'm banking on you getting this one, so don't let me down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jack is saying it's always fantastic to say um, hi to you all wow. and catch up every time uh, he comes back to Garen. And I, we hope that you come very yeah, soon. Yeah, we're looking forward to yeah, seeing a lot of your faces yeah. back again and, yeah. and welcome a lot of newcomers, hopefully. So well. this is actually lovely. Uh, uh, Sonny uh, said, he's trying to guess, and he's saying 54% um, and 12 years old. He went like straight. I like the confidence. Wow, yeah. Like, yeah. Dun, dun. yeah, no, it's good to yeah. go in there straight. Yeah, away, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think we should reveal what it is because a lot of people are also telling us what's their favorite, what has been their favorite of this six. Yeah. Well, so okay. while we reveal what this is, we also ask you, please tell us what's your favorite yeah. out of the six, and then I'll ask these guys what what has been their favorite of the six. So. Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> oh so, no. no. <laughs> well, as I say, but you know, we'll ask you that question in your patient. Yes. What's yeah. your favorite? And I always say to them, now whiskies I prefer, I don't know about a favourite, because whiskey is a very mood oriented yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I agree. we have tried these in a different order, yeah. we might have yeah. chosen a different favourite. But unfortunately, well. this is... What time of day it is, <laughs> who you're with, what kind of... Well, I am hosting the tasting, and you are my, my guest, so unfortunately you need to choose. So think about one. <laughs> you don't have an option here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I'll just maybe two, all, maybe then. two, maybe two. You can choose two. You can choose oh, no, two. wait a minute, Scott. You can't taste them all again. Yeah. No, but please, let's tell people what's inside number six. Number so, six, guys. Yeah. Um, it's a pH finish, 57.4%. Uh, um, 2013 bourbon cask moved into a first filled pH hogshead. 
six years in the bourbon and one year in the PX. So oh, one year. Seven year old. Look at the colour. Amazing, gorgeous. Yeah. Again, it's I would have that was so much flavour, so much yeah. colour. Yeah. That's what we were saying earlier yeah. on about age. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't really matter. You know, it does it? really, no. you know, depending on the people you cast. Is that are, just an ad? We're just so lucky yeah. to be able the, to. The thing is, it, a lot of it's the skill yeah. of the master, but still. Yeah. And the master the cash. <laughs> and the warehouse manager. And the, and the warehouse manager. And the master yeah. cases. <laughs> and the sales team. And, and the sales team. And, and the business yeah. center yeah. guys. Yeah. And, and the team of the bank. Yeah. Yeah. And the mailing guys. Mailing yeah. guys. There's another wonderful thing about this company that I don't want to embarrass young guy. And... <laughs> He's watching. Guy He's came, going to. came to us four years ago for work experience from school. In the summer, I had to go back to school for one day to say he wasn't coming back <laughs> because you loved it up here. It was now four years later, roughly, the warehouse manager, and that is a fantastic success story yeah, for this distillery yeah. for the young people in Arm yeah. Yeah. getting a job like that. An island, as an island where he was born and brought up, I believe he was born here, brought up here. Absolutely fantastic, and I think that's one of the best things of this distillery. It's given a lot of young people from the island. You go down to Lag, and there are a lot of young people there who are born and bred in this island. Not like me, I'm a Glaswegian, I'm a Ouija. You're not, but, I uh, am a Ouija. Never you would never have guessed it, no, from that accent. <laughs> but, uh, and I think that's one of the beauties of this company. It's brought employment yeah, and absolutely. everything to this island. And, a success story all the way. I think Ryan, both Ryan Wilson, our wares manager, and David Livingston, our distillery manager, were um, in charge of selecting this this cast as well. And I agree with you. I tell the story of Ryan every time because one thing that we should mention is also that he's only twenty one years old and he's our oh, wares oh, manager. That's yeah. like amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was his birthday. Yeah. His birthday not that long ago. So cheers to. Yeah. To Ryan, actually, yeah, to right. David, and yeah, to the yeah, whole team yeah. in the whole team. And, yeah, in Locranza and Lag, and and Excellent. out in the world, wherever wherever we are and wherever we go. Let's see what the guys are saying. Their favorite is so. We we'll start from Campbell. Actually, what is well? If you had to choose, just the one to enjoy. Let's okay. I'll make it more like specific. Oh. If you had to pick one that we will refill now you will enjoy for the rest of the evening evening what would you pick like right now to enjoy and chat with your with your no, colleagues and friends number five. number five number five okay you're going for the champagne who no, I said that, that. I, said that. Yeah. I said that never mind i said it i said it i said it it's not me i said it you know marilla i said it's all day the not worked. i said it i'll go back on the video beat that <laughs> You never heard of that. I didn't yeah. say it. Yeah. I can't believe I said it. <laughs> okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. <laughs> Pam, which one is your favorite? Yeah. Pam, tell us. I want to say the, the quarter cask and everything, but no, I'm with you, Campbell. That's the one that if I had to choose sort of desert island whiskies here, um, I would have the... Yeah. Absolutely sparkling yeah. <laughs> nice what about you scott no, i'm actually hiding my whiskies because i seem to have like a legion you mean most... lack of whiskies? <laughs> lack of whiskies, yeah. um, but if i was to go for one i think it would be the first one that was one of mine was the madeira oh, oh, oh. lovely young whiskey oh, but yeah. it's bottle it now a great whiskey but that one's got so much potential um, so many flavours coming through it as well, and that is going to be a cracker, guys, if that ever gets bottled. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, I I'm disappointed with any of them. Yeah, yeah. Brian uh, is saying that he also like whiskey number five, the French cask. Uh, he said it's the <laughs> best. <laughs> From a well, well, guy. Yeah. Well it's the best drum so far, the French cask, exactly. Um, yeah, Nigel is also thanking us uh, for the lovely tasting. Uh, amazing cast sample and he's uh, very impressed by our distillery. So we hope to <laughs> we hope to see you soon, uh, Nigel. Oh, come yes, come visit us. So 
Uh, Ryan is also thanking us for the kind words. You're oh. welcome, Ryan. You are welcome. Next time you'll sit on this open to the tasting with us. <laughs> um, also, Helen joined us, Helen Lam. So thank you for joining us. Nice that you enjoyed the tasting as well. Jack is saying that he loved the quarter cask. Um, but the French, he also used the C word there, so it's not oh, my fault, okay? Oh. I wasn't the first Hush person. your mouth. The French cask <laughs> was a beautiful revelation and a close second. Uh, and obviously, the 96 is always a special. Uh, I think I think it's good that we started with that, so yeah, that the other nice, you know, uh, the other strong yeah. flavors of the other casks you know, didn't overpower the 96, so it's great. Berger also enjoyed that. He's thanking all of us for the oh, tasting. Leave from yeah. Belgium as well. Thank you for for, uh, for tuning in again and and you know and joining us same with Johan and David Fowler thank you for always being there these like yeah. names that David, always pop uh, up so yeah. thank you very much for the support it's really really David, so appreciated yeah exactly and Mark is saying the same so yeah well, what else else going? And dancing after yeah this, well <laughs> if you're around the well, island we'll be you're, you're Lucy, we're not dancing earlier on we're we're, we're planning to i think we're gonna plan we're just gonna put like you know a bit of daily yeah, yeah, yeah i mean yeah absolutely no marquee but i mean yeah, there's no cars yeah. parked yeah. in the courtyard no, so yeah. lots of space if you're yeah. on the okay, island enough of us here for an eight some real eats yeah. You just need some music. Yeah. Oh, no. Very good. Yeah. Thank you, Leanne, for joining us as well. And also Lorna. I'm glad that she managed to to, to see Aww. us as well. Thank you, Lorna, for, for tuning in. But yeah, would you like to say your last words before we end the broadcast? Do you I have to say not. anything else? Or? <laughs> I just think that um, it's really sad that we can't be together again, but we look forward so much to sort of having everybody back again next Big year. Big party time as soon as we can. It's really good to see people starting coming back to the island because we are a holiday island. People are in a good mood. Yeah, we are still sort of like running sort of like very sort of like few tastings than ever, but they are sort of like the chocolate and whiskey, limited edition core. Come and see us. Yeah. Um, come back. Um, and we'll look after you as we normally do. So. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. They might be smaller, but I think it's making it a much more personal experience. Yes, yeah. Um, which yeah. we're absolutely yeah. loving. I have to say, it yeah. means we get to know people better, mm. um, and share experiences better with people, and um, because there is smaller um groups that we're having. So um, yeah, just yeah. Book well in advance and come and join us. Um. Yeah, and we've heard you and miss you. So I just <laughs> say the same as Pam and Scott there. At, uh, we're missing seeing you all. Yeah. You've been friends of ours for years now, and uh, it's nice to see you when you come over for the festival. Not to be this year, hopefully next year, and we'll get you all back again. Bring your party shoes. Bring your party shoes, yes. <laughs> If I'm still walking without a walking stick, I'll join you. You but, won't. Uh, <laughs> you won't. Too. But it's great to have actually this virtual contact. Uh, it's, it's wonderful, awesome. this um, video thing that we've now got. We can all join in <laughs> because I can remember watching Dr. Spock and everyone had seen. Look, speak to him up there and you show a right. picture and say, what a lot of nonsense, you know, yeah. what a lot of nonsense. And here we are all looking at each other, talking to each other, enjoying each other's company. It's a great experience. Definitely. Not just being part of the White right Stag, but actually working here. I've worked in a few places, I can tell you. This is a great experience. Good company to work for. We're small, we're independent, which is a big thing, and hopefully we'll stay that way so that we can produce those whiskies that you want to taste, not with some guy in an office is sitting with a pie chart saying, oh, that's the one we'll go for. <laughs> no, we want the ones, because uh, our thing Campbell. is... Tell them as it is. Tell them as it is. Quality, not Get quantity. Go on then. <laughs> and the beauty of working for is that we can all be ourselves and be yeah, honest yeah. and share our, you no know, script. our opinions, yeah, no right, scripts, okay. uh, which is... <laughs> That's the reason why I wanted to work for the company. Thank you, Mariella and Lucy, for setting that all up as well. No, thank you. And our background cast. And the the cheering team, man. No, thank you very much. 
as always, thanks you, thanks to you for your time. You know, this Saturday as well, and for saying yes to this. And you know, if you enjoyed as much as I did, and as much as our uh, guests enjoyed it at home, maybe you know we could do it again one day. So, thank you very much for all of you to uh, to yeah to just enjoy the tasting we hope you enjoyed the whiskeys at home and you enjoyed our company as well this whiskey tasting will be able to uh you know it's gonna be you're gonna be able to watch it long day you're gonna be able to watch it afterwards as well on our facebook and youtube page and uh, there's gonna be some lovely music tonight at 8 p.m going again on facebook and youtube with the crafted music and Mike Bailey, which is a, a great local he artist. Used to be my art teacher. I, Let's go. <laughs> apparently, used to be the art teacher yeah. of most uh, most people on the island. So, <laughs> also a great musician. Uh, <laughs> and then, don't forget, tomorrow is Lag Day, so we'll do a Lag tour um, at 4 p.m. Then we we'll have Graham and Katie here doing an amazing light tasting, where we'll try new make one year old and two year old spirit, which is super exciting. Birthday is coming wow, soon next yeah, year, yeah, so it's yeah. great to try spirit, super heavily peated spirit. Um, and then we'll have some more live music. So thank you again for the support and for tuning in. And we'll see you later or tomorrow or another time. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.